Welcome to Frequency Bone Summer Music Connection 11, video 14 of this series, Making the Most of What You Have. In this video, I'm going to highlight on something. I think I'll name it um, Making the Most of Your Great Features, Your Outstanding Features. And in the midst of trying to improve all of the things we can't do well, which has to be a part of it, right? Part of improvement is taking the parts we know <laughs> could be better and sometimes not giving them all the attention we can. Or we can go to the extreme of that and just only work on what we can't do so well. So there's a real balance there. And balance is the key word, and that balance can change. So this came up a few days ago um, when I was having a studio class, some of my students at uh, NEC. And I said to this one person, well, let's make sure we, for you, for the student, work on maintaining that which is your outstanding feature. Because within that outstanding feature could be a certain connection, a natural connection to music and your instrument. And... It might be the very thing in the end that keeps you going. It also could be something that other people hear and can encapsulate your specialness as a player. So let's talk about that. Um, maintaining our outstanding features. Now you can think, well, does that take a lot of maintenance? <laughs> um, which is a good thought. Would that take a lot of maintenance? Well, if you want to elevate even your outstanding features, bring other aspects to it. And so you even have greater versatility with the area or areas that you already do really well. We're not talking, I'm not talking right now about just technically making them better, even though that might be an element, okay? But integrating the whole aspect of music as a living thing, and as my wife says, technique as a living thing, and to keep having deeper and deeper and fuller and more conscious connections about what we want to say when we're playing. Because I've known many trombonists, for example, and on, many, on all the instruments I can think of, who have their specialty, who have their outstanding feature. And some trombonists love to play Bordoni. <laughs> and they play them beautifully, really. They can all start to sound pretty much the same. And that's why I've nicknamed Bordoni Chef Bordoni, just like, you know, if you say to someone, do you have anything to play? In a lesson, I'll say that. I'm sure many other teachers that have experienced this they say, well, I have a row shoe or a Bordoni um, etude. It's always seemed like they're ready to pull that out of the cupboard of their mind and heat up a Chef Bordoni. <laughs> um... And 
That might be an outstanding feature, but has it become unconscious? So if legato and lyrical and smooth and warm flow for you, is it basically saying the same thing no matter what you say? If it does, and you feel successful with it, hey, maybe that's fine. If you'd like to deepen that, which you already do well, then that takes it into another artistic avenue where you will become more conscious even of your outstanding features. And you can think, hmm, what do I want to say, for example, with number 66 of a Bordoni or number 120 or number five? Are they all the same? Do they have to be the same? Because this is going to add versatility, greater nuance, more aligning yourself to the needs of the piece, rather than just saying, my outstanding feature is always there. I'm just like the um, uh, jukebox. Remember those? I don't know. If <laughs> they were popular at one time go into a diner or other kind of restaurants, and there'd be this little machine. And you could put in, the, oh, it varied a dime. It probably got up to a quarter, or maybe more at some point. And you can press a couple of little buttons and pick the song you want to play. Um, and it would come through. Everyone would get to hear it, <laughs> um, I think. But my point is, is, frankly, would we have that much versatility as the jukebox to be able to play a whole bunch of different tunes? Just drop the quarter in and out comes all these different tunes. Sorry, I just crunched my, my hands, <laughs> my fingers. <laughs> um. <laughs> So in thinking about this territory of your outstanding features, if they are unconscious and it's just like churning out the same thing, churning out the same stuff with no other thought going on, to me, that's nice and probably causes people relief and a feeling of just let it flow. But what about flowing in different ways? That's why, personally, I would say for your outstanding feature, let's say Mozart Requiem as an excerpt is one of your great pieces. Can you play it three to five different ways? Different emotional content? different articulations to go with that content? Do you ever think about it as an actual transmission instead of an excerpt to be played on the first round and to play it in such a way in the first round that it's so nice that you will make some headway into getting through that little mouse hole to the second round. So my recommendation to highlight, deepen, and expand upon your outstanding features is to at least be able to do them 
in a variety of ways, even if it's legato. Is all legato the same? Not for me it is. So if you can only do one kind of legato, that's your outstanding feature. That's nice, but can you start to see that could be limiting? Especially if you're not thinking of other musical connective content to potentize and enliven your musical statements. So thinking of them as a transmission, thinking of them as a communication to different people, to different places, to different things, or in yourself, try to play it in five different moods, five different styles of music, five different tempos, five different articulations, and mix them all up. Try different combinations. And then you'll expand and maybe via what your outstanding feature is, which is probably a can-do point, you'll be able to see, ah, I can see where I fall back on this because I haven't developed other things in my playing further. So that outstanding feature can be used as an avoidance or as a crutch. So work on that outstanding feature, maintaining it, adding to it, and some of the suggestions that were given. And I think that will really help you in making the most of what you have. And on that note, the 14th video for this Summer's Frequency Bone Summer Music Connection 11. That will be the last video in this series. And we'll see you soon on some other videos that will be made the course of this whole academic year. All the best to you.